Blog Talk Radio. Tonight's guest is Michael Kirkpatrick, an American human rights activist who has made frequent trips to Uganda. Michael is an independent global citizen who does not represent any charity, church, NGO, or government, who has traveled back and forth to Uganda and its Akoli region frequently since 1998. In Akoli, he was given the adoptive name Otim Michael. He is a passionate advocate for Africans helping Africans pursuing sustainable development and self-determination. Uh, welcome to the show, Michael. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. Really appreciate it. What does your adoptive name mean? I guess we'll we'll start out with a nice uh, question there. Uh, yes. Actually, it's quite an honor. Um, Otim, when I uh, went to the northern part of Uganda for the first time in 2007, um, my first trip to Uganda was in 1998, but I never made my way north um, until 2007. And I was invited by uh, an Acholi friend to, to visit her home and visit her family in Gulu. Um, so I took her up on the offer. You know, there's, there's a fine line between uh, courage and stupidity. And I, I kind of precariously walked that line, <laughs> and I figured, what the heck, let's, you know, let's go up to northern Uganda and check it out. Um, I was given access to a lot of places in the north, and I visited the Royal – uh, village, which was turned into an IDP camp, an internally displaced persons camp um, in the north, and it's the village of Lachotacho. The elders gave me the name Otim. They basically adopted me, and the name Otim means that I am an Acholi, but I was born outside of Acholi land. Um, Otim is, names like Otim or, or Akello are very similar uh, for, the Acho- for Acholi men, um, it's kind of like Smith or Jones uh, in, in English. But Otim um, basically means they adopted me. You know, even though I'm a middle-aged white guy from America, they basically have said, no, you, you are now one of us. You shall be called Otim. Uh, 